I really like the way these shells turned out. I want a couple more shells in there. So I'm going to show you how to model a Nautilus shell and a spiral shell. And that's going to be it for the shells, I think. I do want to do a starfish sometime, but I'll do that later. And then I will get to the block out phase. So just a couple of quick things that I wanted to show you. I'm just going to hide this plane. I'm going to look down from the top. And here we go. Let's create a circle. And I'm not going to do it too high poly. I'm going to do 18 vertices. And I'm going to add an array modifier. And the more you add here, the better this will turn out. But of course, the higher poly it's going to be. So I will end up going for 300. That's quite a bit, but that's the way it's going to go. I'm going to uncheck relative and check constant. Come down in here, and I'm going to put for my distance in the x0. And the y is going to be 0, and in the um, z is going to be 0 0.15. I'm going to look from the front. Now that 0 0.15 seems to work quite well for what we want to do. So we see it's a nice tall column of, uh, of these things here. Okay, down here, object offset. I'm going to check that. I'm going to leave that blank. We're going to have something in there in just a moment. Shift A, and I'm going to add an empty, just a plain axis. And I'm going to come back, select these, and come back and select that empty. Okay, so with that done, I'm going to select my empty. Let's see if I can find my empty. There it is. And I'll put that in a collection in just a moment. Here's where the magic starts to happen. So what I think we'll do is we'll do the Nautilus first. So I'm going to put for my scale 0 0.99. You can experiment with these values. I'll show you what there's doing, 0 0.99. You can see that it's starting to shrink this and it's tapering. And for the height, we'll put 0 0.99 as well. So now it's just a tapered sort of cone like that with this big array and then for the rotation i'm going to put five five degrees so look from the side and you start to see what we're getting now i'm going to make sure i've got the empty selected i'm going to start just pulling in the y and it'll move up a little bit you see the way it separates there i'm going to hold shift and push back i want them to either just touch or maybe go a little bit in like that and that's all we need so what we're going to do now is select my array. I'm going to apply it. I can now take the empty and delete the empty. Come in here, go into edit mode and switch to edge selection. And then control E, bridge edge loops. And we have our Nautilus shell. I can take that and shade smooth. Now that will be relatively high poly. I'll just focus on that. And well, 10,000, so it's not too, too bad. But that's what we get, and I have a Nautilus shell now. I'll take that, I'll scale it down a bit, and I'm going to create a new collection, and I'm going to call this Nautilus. Actually, I'm thinking I'm going to call this Shell Nautilus, so that I do another shell, and all my shells will be sort of alphabetical. So, all right, so I'm just going to take that and move it over here. Maybe I'll go in and I'll rotate Z90 just so I can see it there and if I bring back my plane it's just sitting there all right so we've got that let's do hide that again one more very very similar to get the spiral shell I will bring in a circle again I'm going to use 18 you could try going lower if you like I'm going to add an array. I will use 300 again, but you could try 200 or 250. Uncheck relative constant, and I'm going to choose 0 and 0 0.15 in the Z. I'll look from the front, so we have the same kind of a thing as we had before. Check object offset. We're going to have an empty there, so let's bring in our empty. So we'll come back here and we'll choose that empty. There it is. And on the empty now, I want to have my scale. I'm going to go for 0 0.99 again. Now it's tapering in the X and in the Y. And then bring it down in the Z. 0 0.99 is fine. Now, a couple of other things for the empty. I'm going to move it here. I'm going to choose the X location. I'm going to put minus 0.04. That shifts it 
ever so slightly over there's the origin it shifted it over a little bit and it causes it to tilt like that and we need to do one more thing and that is to come up for the rotation for the empty in the X I'm gonna go or 13 and you can experiment with different values if you want but this is what we get I'm gonna take my shell apply the array take the empty and delete it go into edit mode make sure I'm in after everything is selected in edge selection control E bridge edge loops and we have our curved shell like that and we can if we want to we can add a solidify and just bring it in a little bit maybe something like that I'm going to go ahead and apply that all right the more vertices the more um, circles you had in the array the better this part will be you can imagine you could even make a snail shell just use less in your array maybe try a hundred and fifty and see how that goes but there is my curved shell I'm not going to change the orientation of that too much right now okay so I have a number of assets now for my for my scene I've got this shell I've got this shell I've got these shells I've got my bucket a couple of boxes and of course there's lots more to do but now it'll be time to go on and block it out and eventually all of these things will hopefully find a home in my pirate ship scene all right so that's going to be it for now thanks so much for watching hope that was interesting and we'll see you next time